Alexia. Foster. Can you tell me where were we last weekend? We were in Wilmington, North Carolina. Wilmington, North Carolina. Yes, we were. Next question. What did you think about Wilmington? Uh, such a sweet city, small town, right? Yeah, I would say it's a small city. I'm not yeah. sure how how big it is in terms of population, but it yeah. feels like a small town. It's beautiful. It reminds me a lot like Charleston because of the architecture. Mm -hmm. Can we try that one more time? Architecture. Architecture. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to say archi. We would actually say o som do chua aqui. Então é architecture. 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 Okay, that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the nice buildings and the way that they were constructed. Yes, it, it's like a small Charleston without all the tourism. And I don't know, maybe during summertime there gets really, really crowded because of the beaches and the river and things like that. Yeah, so just to put it into context, Wilmington, North Carolina is on the east coast of North Carolina. So imagine I am, imagine Florida, all Brazilians know Florida, then the state above Florida is South Carolina, where I was born, and then you have North Carolina, and then on the east coast, with the Atlantic Ocean, you have a city called Wilmington, And Wilmington's really cool because on one side of the city, you have a river. And that's where the downtown, kind of the city center is. And then on the other side, you have the ocean. Yeah, so it's it's a water city, I would say. Yeah. When there <laughs> yeah. is the um, uh, hurricanes and things like that, Wilmington gets a lot of floods. Floods? Floods. Floods. But I loved it. Yeah. I agree. It is a water city, but we do not say that in English. You'd probably say it's a coastal city. It's a coastal city. I think water city much, much, much more interesting than coastal city. Okay. <laughs> Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Exactly. So Wilmington was a great place, cool place. I would recommend checking it out if you have the chance. And everyone was so nice to us. Yeah, tourist city. Small tourist city in the south. College city as well, right? There is a university there, but I would not call it a college town. Okay, and why did we pick Wilmington to visit this time? <laughs> so, for Valentine's Day, American Valentine's Day, which is February 14th, if I'm not mistaken... Alexia got me. What could possibly be the best present I've ever received? Two tickets to see our favorite comedian, Chris Gethard. Yes. Yay! <laughs> so, so, he was doing two nights show in Wilmington, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, he was doing two shows. Yeah. Uh, and I picked up the last one Saturday night because I didn't know how the logistics to get to Wilmington would be. Yeah. So I played safe. <laughs> yeah, I played it safe. I played it safe. That's a good phrase. And if we have any new listeners, just to make sure that everyone's on the same page, Chris Gethard is a comedian who, he's not your typical comedian. He talks a lot about anxiety and social awkwardness but at the end of our podcast and just kind of our company uh motto you could say <laughs> like our slogan is lose well and that is a phrase that comes directly from chris gethard and we love him to pieces yes and it was like when i first came to the united states uh foster and i we used to road trip a lot And every time that we were in the car, we were listening to one or two episodes from Beautiful Anonymous, which is Chris' podcast. Right. Chris's podcast. Chris's podcast. Uh-huh. And can we try the word anonymous? Anonymous. 
Yeah, so that is actually a na na, just like pra pra, anonymous. Anonymous. Yeah. So Chris has a podcast called Beautiful Anonymous, which is amazing, it amazing is. for everyone to study English, to just listen to something, to whatever. Yeah. Exactly. So Alexia bought tickets for Saturday night, and then on Thursday, the day before we left. I was thinking, Alexia, <laughs> Wilmington's not that big of a city. We love Chris Gethard so much. He's doing a show both nights. We should probably just get <laughs> tickets to the Friday show as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we ended up going to two <laughs> comedy shows with the same comedian. And tell me about the first show. What did you think? I loved it. First of all... It was like, oh my God, Chris is here. So yeah, and the <laughs> venue, the venue is like the place was. It was really small. It was a great comedy club, and we were literally on the front row because <laughs> Alexia made us get there like two hours early. Yes, no, no, one hour. Yeah, very punctual. <laughs> so we literally had the best seat in the house. And we, the the venue is Dead Crow Crow, the Dead Crow Comedy Club. Yes, so it's amazing because every single one could see what the show, uh, the, like could see what was happening during the show. It's a very small place, and you can have drinks, you can eat, you can have dinner there or whatever. While the comedian or someone is right in front of you like we could touch him if we needed to and we f we wanted to i so, know alexia wanted to but you we, wanted to i didn't want to touch him yes you did <laughs> we did touch him after the show <laughs> so okay. the show was amazing chris crushed it killed it as usual then after the show he said oh i'll you know i'll be out here signing books and stuff like that he has a book that is appropriately titled lose well and we we're like oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> we got to talk to him what do we say what do we say you were like this and that's I what was... i was like <laughs> i was playing cool playing it cool playing it cool yeah so what happened chris and carmen his friend who opened the mm -hmm. show for his chris. opener yeah They were there, and then everyone looked at each other, and I was like, Hi, Chris, thank you so much for tonight. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here. I came fr from Brazil just because of you. And then his night ended right there. He was like, What? It Why would you do that? <laughs> he was actually, it seemed like he was offended. He's like, You traveled <laughs> from Brazil to come see me? <laughs> And she was like, well, I was also visiting my boyfriend. And no, 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 but he me. was like, why would you do that? <laughs> This was his phrase. Why would you leave Brazil just to see me here in Wilmington, North Carolina? <laughs> yeah, so then we actually kind of started really having conversation. And, and Foster could calm himself down a little bit. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> but we told him that... We are also podcasters and that a lot of Brazilians listen to his show and that we always say lose well. And he was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, because he does. He does uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, he's a big fan of. And Brazilian one of his best friends is Brazilian. So he was like, oh, my God, Brazil loves me. I need to check it out because he wasn't believing us at all, at all. He was, like, having a lot of questions, like, how Brazil knows that I exist? <laughs> how does Brazil know that yeah. I exist? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we talked a while. It was going really, really well. We were super excited. And then we're like, well, we'll talk to you again tomorrow night because we're coming again to the show. And again. Why would you do that? <laughs> He's like, it's the exact same show. <laughs> Don't you understand how comedy shows and then, work? And then I told him, yes, it's very good for me to practice English. And he was like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he bought this idea as well. <laughs> so it was a lovely experience. And then the second night and what follows after that gets even crazier. <laughs> and I think we should continue with that story tomorrow. <laughs>